everybody. The Great American Eclipse is just days away. I personally don't have any eclipse glasses, but I'm going to be making something a little different called a pinhole projector. You can use this to view the eclipse safely, although it may not be quite as nice as having the glasses. Essentially all you need is a cardboard box. Usually the best ones are longer ones like this. You also need some aluminum foil. You'll need a cutting knife or a razor blade like this. Some tape and a sheet of paper. So we'll start out by prepping this box. To start out with your pinhole projector, you'll need to cut two holes on top of the box. This hole is for viewing into the box because this here will be closed. And you'll need to cut a hole to place your aluminum foil over. The aluminum foil simply covers this up and you'll have a pinhole punched into the aluminum foil. That's where you actually get your pinhole from. And we'll be placing paper inside of here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and tape the aluminum foil to the top of the box. Get this a little closer. We can perhaps see it a little better. There, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and place this over top like this. Now we'll go ahead and get our tape. And we'll just need to tape around the foil to secure it in place. Perhaps you could also just punch a hole through the cardboard. That may work as well, but I think the aluminum foil would work better because it's thinner material. Now we'll go ahead and use a pin like this here thumbtack and we'll just punch a little bit hole in our aluminum foil probably closer to the back of the box okay our hole is now punched what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and tape up those flaps inside there so that way they stay secured and don't flop down and end up in the way Okay, now you want to grab a sheet of paper to place in the bottom of your box. What I did here is I took a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and I just folded the side over here and folded this around until it fit all the way in the box. And as you can see, the pinhole projector is already working. Okay, so the reason why we have two projections is because there's a little bit of hole back here in the box that's allowing light in. So we need to actually cover that up. We can use paper or aluminum foil or something for that. Or some electrical tape if you have it. But first I'll go ahead and get this paper secured in place. So what we'll do is we'll pull it back out and we can just flip it over like so. And if you want to, you can actually use a pair of scissors and cut everything to size. There, now it's good and flat. Not to be perfect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this flap up. And we'll close up the box. And we'll also go ahead and fix that hole. So the hole is right up here in the corner. Right there. What I can do I got some electrical tape here we can just tape over that and of course um, 
you can just tape some paper over it or just anything like that nothing too major because all you need to do is cover up any foreign holes that are letting light in so that way the projector operates properly so now we'll go ahead and close up our box and if we get any foreign light in we can just run some electrical tape over the over the crack so we'll start out with this regular packaging tape matter of fact duct tape will probably would be better for this but anyways Go ahead and run some a strip of electrical tape over this crack. So if you have some duct tape laying around, this will also be good for that. Just to try to cover that seam between the two halves. That's what we're trying to achieve here. Okay. That is how you make a pinhole projector. And we'll go ahead and take a look inside. And you can see, it's seeming to be working pretty well. Let's take it outside and see how it does with the sun. Okay, it's kind of late in the evening, but we can still make our test. I'm going to let you see for yourself once I get everything lined up right. There you can see the little pinhole doing its job as I move around. And that is, of course, the sun that you're seeing. So when the eclipse happens, you'll get to see for yourself. You'll get to watch the moon cross over the sun safely without harming your eyes if you don't have any eclipse glasses so anyways that is how you make a pinhole projector hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy the eclipse if you're in the area where it's going to be thanks for watching